coming up on Cruise In, presented by RK Motors Charlotte, we have one very hot Oldsmobile. And there were flames shooting up the back seat. A Mercury that predates a 57-year marriage and sat in the barn for decades. It was time to get it out, redo it for the anniversary, for our 50th anniversary. And it's the best story in the classic car hobby. I bought it from a little old lady. A little old lady. <laughs> yes. Plus. It'll be built exactly the way it rolled off the assembly line, only nicer. A progress report on the restoration of the last Emmy. You know, there's nothing quite like driving a Cadillac. Sat in an egg crate and <laughs> drove this all the way to Bowling Green and I followed him in my car. Cruise In, presented by RK Motors Charlotte, starts right now. Hey everybody, welcome to Cruise In, presented by RK Motors Charlotte. I'm Jeff Phelps and this is a big, big show for me. I get to combine two of my favorite things, classic cars and golf. We are at one of the greatest public golf courses in the United States of America, the Fowler's Mill Golf Course. It was one of the first designs by the legendary golf course architect Pete Dye. But tonight, in the parking lot, some very, very cool classic cars. Scott, I took one look at your Plymouth Duster and I thought, you know, if he had been pulled over by a police officer on the way over here, you may not be with us right now. It's street legal, but barely? Yeah, barely street legal. It's a drag <laughs> car, street car. And how do you differentiate between the two? How do you make a drag car still street legal? Uh, you buy slicks with uh, DOT government uh, approved treads. So they're actually real slicks but they have a tread on each side of the tire to make it DOT legal. So well, you don't want to get caught in the rain with them tires. No, well you're close. Congratulations Thanks. on getting by the law and getting here tonight. It's a 1970 Plymouth Duster. Yes. How long have you had it? 20 years. 20? 20. 20 years. What did it look like when you picked it up? It was burnt orange with a slant six. After that, same day, I tore the motor out of it and started sandblasting everything right in my driveway. And how long has it been restored? Uh, the way I like it, the way you see it now, probably about eight years. Well, that's nice. You look inside; it, it looks it looks drag car. It nice. doesn't yeah. it doesn't look street car. I like to take it to the track when I can. Uh, I really can't drive it to real far shows with a 16 gallon fuel cell, and the Cam Two will be an 850 a gallon. And real what far. kind of fuel does it burn? Cam Two. Explain. It's uh, 100 octane to 109 octane. Run, makes the car run smoother and nice. I mix it with regular 92 from Sunoco, so I don't have to spend a million dollars on gas, so I mix it up. And with the with the tubs and the slicks, the trunk's a little different. Yeah, that's narrowed. I had to redo the whole uh, hinge process on the trunk, and uh, tubs take up most of the room in there. There's no back seat, so. Back seats are overrated. Yeah, you don't need that. <laughs> How about under the hood, Scott? Uh, it's a big block 400 Chrysler motor, 383 crank, it's a forge. Uh, it's got 1967 440 heads on it. The headers are custom built. Uh, it's got an 860 uh, custom made carburetor. The Plymouth Duster is, I don't want to say one of the forgotten Mopar cars, but maybe the more one of the more underappreciated Mopars, yeah, wouldn't you say? The junkyard because the A frame is rotted, torsion bar is rotted. So they're one of the. Usually I go to a lot of car shows, there's, I'm the only duster there, or there might be two or three of us there. But they're not hardly around, they're all in the junkyard. I like the interior too. Your dashboard is, is very slick. Yeah, it's all customized gauges, custom dash. Me and my friend built that. Well, remind me, if it's ever raining, not to come out in your neighborhood, because I don't want you to get caught on the road in this thing. It's very slippery when driving in the rain. I've been caught once. I've had it 20 years, and it's probably been, actually got wet by the rain maybe three times. <laughs> Ray and Joanne, I walked past, I saw your car, I liked it very much. I said hello, heard your story, and liked it even better. <laughs> Ray, it's a 1951 Mercury. Correct. You've had it since when? 1952. And you have had Joanne as your girlfriend or wife since when? Well, we got married in 55. So in other words, the car before the wife. That's the way it worked out, yeah. <laughs> I still got both of them, though. And, and you know what, and you're a lucky man on both fronts. <laughs> You dated in this car. Yes, yes we did. That we has to be a kick, Joanne. Here it sits all these years later. You've been married 57 years, you told me? 57 years, and here's the car that you guys dated in. Love and, it. Well, we bought it in 52. Uh, kept it pretty much stock until about 
55 when the Chevys come out with their big V8s. At that time, we put a Lincoln engine into it with a four-speed hydromatic to keep up with the uh, Chevys. That worked out pretty good, but that engine went sour in, I think it was 1964. At that time, we put this car upstairs in the barn. In 64? In 64, it was kind of pretty, not kind of, it was pretty salty. No engine, no transmission, no nothing. So she sat there in a barn until two years before our 50th anniversary, which I decided it's time to get it out, redo it for the anniversary, for our 50th anniversary. So over 30 years it sat in the barn? Yeah. Seriously? It was nice dry storage upstairs in the hay barn, so it's, uh, it was good. So then we got it, I got it out in a couple of years before our international. Untouched for 30 years? Right. And it showed it and we brought it out. I mean, the, it was a rust bucket and I, it was in terrible shape. And, uh, so I spent a couple of years with new brakes and redoing the gas tank and all the brake lines and whatever it took to do it. Got it ready and uh, Don Gray at Edgewood Auto Body painted it for me. Did a beautiful job. And the guy down in Southington, Ohio did the upholstery work. But other than that, why, Joanne and I did everything on the car. So. Joanne, what did you think in 1964 when Ray put this thing in the barn? Did you think, well, we'll never see that car again or what? Right, I thought it was kind of foolish, but you know, it was his car and he thought a lot of it. Were you surprised when he said, you know, honey, we're gonna get the Mercury out? I was happy. <laughs> Were you really? <laughs> I actually enjoy, I think, more doing it than I do driving it. It was, it was, a, it was a great hobby for a couple of years there just to be working on it. It was a lot of fun and I enjoyed it. And Ray, you did a good portion of the work yourself. Yeah, most of it, yeah. Did you have the automotive experience or did you no, just kind of? Just kind of, just kind of did it really. <laughs> well, now that you have this car, Joanne, is it nicer now than it was when you guys were dating or did you not notice the car then because you were so enthralled with Ray? <laughs> that's probably the story. Yeah, yeah. That's, I thought you'd like that one. <laughs> oh, I gotta think I like it better now. I really do, yeah. I well, like Joanne better every day too, so it's kind of working out good that way. Oh, that was good. Oh. Yeah. I thought I'd better say something nice. That was very, very well said. <laughs> Think those cars that come from Arizona are always perfect? Well, guess again. The whole interior was rotted out because of the sun. Cruise In, presented by RK Motors Charlotte, will be right back. Handling classic and high-performance vehicles requires an industry-leading team of experts. Welcome to RK Motors Charlotte. Industry-leading means meticulous attention to detail when servicing every vehicle. It means a consignment service so fine-tuned that a successful sale at maximum value is all but guaranteed. And a rigorous inspection on every vehicle before its tires even touch our sales floor. It's all this and more that make RK Motors Charlotte the industry leader. Visit rkmotorscharlotte.com. Now back to Cruise In, presented by RK Motors Charlotte. Letty, every girl's dream is not necessarily an automobile, and certainly not necessarily an Oldsmobile Dynamic 88. You're not your typical girl. <laughs> My first car out of high school was a Dynamic 88 65, and I had a lot of fun in it. And uh, after I met my husband, he asked what car I would want if he were to build me a new car. And I said, the car of my high school, youth. And uh, we took about a year and uh, located the 65 Dynamic 88. And, this and he is, put it together? He put it together for me, yes. What did your husband think when, out of nowhere, you say, you know, I'd like an Oldsmobile Dynamic 88? He fell over because his brother had one. And he helped his brother put his together. And it was just such a, he was expecting a 57 Chevy or a 55. I did have a 55 Chevy Bel Air. And, but when I said no, the 65 Olds, he, and I did not know at the time that his brother had a 65 Olds. So, <laughs> that's maybe that's pretty, why he fell in love with me. Yeah, that's, that's a little, <laughs> that's an odd coincidence. Yeah, yeah. So, the funny story was that when my husband came out to look at it, I found the car, I went out to look at it first, and I said, the, and the body was solid, but it was in sad shape, it had been sitting. Mm -hmm. But the bad thing was, is when we were bringing it home, it caught fire. Oh, I see, that's an issue. And I, he was behind me, in his, um, and I was driving the car home, and I had to look in the rear view mirror, and there were flames shooting up the back seat, and the back seat was melting down. Yeah, that's frowned upon. Yeah. 
and pulled over, and, but fortunately, always carry a fire extinguisher in the car. By the time I got out of the car and started putting the top up, he had the fire extinguisher out of the trunk and was putting the fire out of the, and pulled the back seat because his brother had the car, he knew how to take it apart, and he's yanking the seat out of the back and throwing it, and it's in flames, and the back of the seat he was throwing. <laughs> and we're putting it, by the time the fire department got there, the fire was out. He saved the car, but the interior was completely burned. So now, you have the car of your youth. Yes. It's the car of your present. Yes. Will it be the car of your future? Do you plan to do anything with it other than hang on to it and drive it? Now we drive it. I did show it. I tried the, taking it back to original, but I'm, we're done with the showing. Now we just take it out and go to dinner and drive it and enjoy it. And now it's the car that I had when I was in high school. So now it's just better. Congratulations. I can tell by the smile on your face, it means a lot to you. It does, yes. Thank you. Tom and Barbara, when I go to a car show, two things always seem to catch everyone's eye. A red car and a big old Cadillac from the 50s. <laughs> Combine the two and you guys must get attention like absolute crazy. Oh, we do, we do, we do. We really we do. do. We're a well, standout at every show almost. What do you have, Tom? It's a 55 Caddy Series 62. And you have, you've had it how long? I've had it for 30 years. I had it in a barn for, was it 20, 25 years or so? Yeah, it's and, at least uh, getting closer to 30. I, from when you bought it in 82, you stuck it in a barn? Yeah, well, first of all, I, I bought it from a gentleman who uh, brought it from Arizona. And the car was red and it was perfect, all except the whole interior was rotted out because of the sun. My son and I, we went to uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania to a car show and we seen the, one of the top cars and we looked at the imp you know, upholstery on the inside and this guy was from uh, Bowling Green, Ohio. My son got behind it in a, and he was sat on an egg crate and d drove this all the way to Bowling Green, and I followed him in my car. On an egg crate. On an egg on crate. On an egg crate. It had no, the interior was Because I was wasn't going to sit on an egg crate and drive down. So I said, you're going. We sent the dash to a place out in, uh, I think it was out in Arizona, where they etch acid etched the, the all the dials, cleaned up everything. We put that back in. Well, the whole car was, the whole engine, everything was taken out. The 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 whole car was redone. The engine was completely redone. But it took a long, long time and lots and lots of money. <laughs> so, so here we are. You nice. Know? Well, it paid off. Barbara, what, yeah. can I ask what you thought as this thing sat for 25 years? I kept going by and dusting it off, thinking, <laughs> are we or are we not going to ever do anything with it? And when uh, five years ago showed up, he said, what are we going to do with this car? And I said, well, why don't we fix it for a change? <laughs> the body guy says, oh, man, the headliner had all kinds of mouse nests in it. I'll bet. And uh, there, was, there was mice nests everywhere. But one thing about it, they didn't eat through any of the upholstery. That was nice of them. Yeah. 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 Barbara, what, what features about this car do you like so much? Because it's, it's obviously such a unique and distinctive design. I mean, you take one look at it when you drive in, you know it's a Cadillac. Yes. It's, it's just gorgeous, and it rides like my living room couch. <laughs> it's a, a gorgeous ride. And um, we have a lot of fun with the car with people at the shows. And, and kind of early in the Finn era for Cadillac, too. They, yes. they got a little carried yes. away down the road, they but got, this kind of started it up. They started getting sharper and sharper. Yes. As soon as they got rid of the Marilyn Monroes. <laughs> and those are what, Tom? Right here are the your little friends they're, on the they're front of the car. They're called the bumper bombs. The bumper yeah, bombs. I, I can't even imagine why they're called Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. I thought they were Betty Grables. I didn't. Know. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Well, it was a 25-year project. Oh yeah. If not longer. Oh, right. It's and closer. It, it's really. Uh, it looks like it was worth every minute of it. Yeah. Oh, it was. It was fun. Coming up next. Hopefully, next time you see it here, we'll have it all welded up, and we'll be working on bigger and better things. It's the restoration of the last Hemi on Cruise In, presented by RK Motors Charlotte. Sally, Tina, Betsy, 
You've developed quite a bond with your classic car. Let the consignment professionals at RK Motors Charlotte make the selling process as painless as possible. Through precision marketing and large customer base, we all but guarantee a sale at maximum value. And we don't get paid until your car sells. We've sold over 1,500 classic cars here at RK Motors Charlotte. And now we'd like to get to know Betsy, at least for a little while. Visit rkmotorscharlotte.com. project is underway, the restoration of the last Hemi. Here's a progress report. At first glance, it looks like just a great old 1971 Dodge Charger RT in need of a little tender loving care. But it's oh so much more than that. This is the very last 426 Hemi to ever be built by the Chrysler Corporation. The last one. The very last one ever to roll off any assembly line anywhere. What do you want this car to look like? better than new. It'll be built exactly the way it rolled off the assembly line, only nicer. But step one in the restoration of the last Hemi, just like step one in the restoration of any vehicle, take it apart. We took it apart piece by piece, started bagging everything, labeled everything. We tried to take pictures of every square inch of the car to the point where, if you forget, let's face it, this car is going to be apart for a long time. Between pictures, bagging, and everything, it, 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 was a, it was a pretty good process, but we took our time with it, too, you know, to make sure everything went well. We started on the restoration already on little parts with sandblasting, but uh, made our lists of parts that weren't good enough, that we were going to need NOS, and now that process is taking place. The shell has been cleaned, all paint, any old body work, everything that could have been on the metal has now been removed, is clean, is rust free, and it's exposing all the rust issues and all the areas where there is no metal left. And the next step is going to be cutting out all the holes and putting in all fresh new metal. The challenges so far that have been, you know, tough are one, finding OEM, usable, nice, 40-year-old pieces. An OEM. Original equipment manufactured. You know, we're not talking anything uh, that was restoration. We're either looking for anything that was NOS, which was new old stock, been on a shelf brand new for the last 40-some years, or an original equipment piece that came off of another car. We've started uncovering all the rust issues and starting to take them out. Uh, already we have removed the cowl from all the factory spot welds, pulled the rotten metal out, and we have sourced a western cowl that was clean, you know, surface rust on it, but at least it wasn't all rotted out, and have used it to get and keep Chrysler metal, take it out, part it in, and as you see, replaced what used to be a rotten mess with nice clean metal, butt welded in, finished ground, front side and back side to try and minimize any visual repair. Even though we knew the car was authentic and it really had never been molested and, and touched, you know, going over it, cleaning everything kind of delicately so we can check numbers, make sure everything's there, you know, verified the VIN, verified date codes on parts. Everything just really looking good. Mike, you've done a lot of welding work. Where are you with it? Well, we've pretty much started to tie up the whole front portion of the car. Overall, the big construction stuff in the front has been done. I'm gonna fit the factory door on, line it up to the rocker, get everything fit. And here, you can see I have I have flex, I have room to move, so I can match that quarter panel perfectly to the contour of the door. So when I do my final welds and polish everything out, there will be absolutely no need for overfilling everything. So that's where we're going with this. And uh, right now we're kind of in the clamp stage and hopefully next time you see it here, we'll have it all welded up and we'll be working on bigger and better things. For more on the restoration of the last Hemi, 
visit our website at thelasthemi.com. When it comes to restoring or servicing your classic or high-performance car, expertise is the name of the game. And that's precisely what you'll find at RK Motors. You'll find our expertise in the attention to detail that can only be acquired through years of working on world-class builds. You'll also find our expertise in the RKM Performance Center, where we've assembled a team of highly qualified ASC certified mechanics. When expertise is the name of the game, trust the experts at RK Motors. Visit rkmotorscharlotte.com. Now back to the Fowler's Mill Car Show on Cruise In, presented by RK Motors, Charlotte. Now back to the Fowler's. Brian, it's a 1964 Chrysler Newport. It looks great, and I love the story. It's my favorite story in an old car. You got it where? Uh, it's from Ohio. I bought it from a little old lady. A little old lady. <laughs> yes, <laughs> from a little old lady. Uh, I bought it in 1980. Um, the car is basically all original, other than it's been painted from the side chrome strip down on both sides. Um, it's got a 383 in it. It's automatic push button, uh, 727 transmission in it, um, eight and three quarter rear end. The only thing that's not original on it are the wheels. And those change from time to time? Yeah, they change from time to time. I just have these wheels on it right now, and but I have the stock hubcaps and the regular bias belt of tires, that's and, what it usually rolls on. <laughs> and Brian, you didn't paint the car. You got no. it looking like this. This is the way it looked when I bought it. What did you think when you stumbled across this car? And how did you happen to find it? Uh, it was parked about five doors down from uh, my house. And it was sitting in a garage. Um, there was boxes on the trunk lid of it. And uh, they just happened to pull it out one day. And I turned around and went back and asked them if they were going to sell it. And they said they were putting it up for sale the next day. And I bought it that day. <laughs> it's not often that you find an original car, uh, even, even in 1980, that was in this nice a shape. And here, 32 years later, it's still in that nice a shape. What have you done to it? Have you, any, anything to keep it looking as great as it has? Uh, basically, all I do is uh, wax it. Uh, I don't drive it a lot. It had 22,000 when I bought it. It's got 35,000 on it now. Uh, it was, the original brakes were still on it up until about three years ago. I just changed those on it. It had a leaking wheel cylinder in it and that's all. The thing about the Chrysler products to me from the 1960s, they weren't as popular as Chevy. They weren't as popular as Ford. I think some of their designs were better than both of them. And, and, and just the lines on this, it's a real nice look. Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot different than those cars, you know. This, this body style, they only made it two years, uh, 1963 and 1964, that it looked like this, and it changed. I took a look inside at the interior, Brian. Mm -hmm. Near perfect. Yeah. yeah, it's never been touched. I just cleaned it up a little bit inside, that's all. Well, I love original cars, Brian. Uh -huh. Yours is original, low mileage, near perfect, fabulous. Thanks. That'll do it for the automobile portion of the first annual car show here at Fowler's Mill Golf Course. But I think I still have a chance to play nine before the sun goes down. So wish me luck. I'm Jeff Phelps. We'll see you next time on Cruise In, presented by RK Motors Charlotte.